Hey guys, this is Tom Sorcy here. Back to back days for you with another Storm Ball Motion Analysis video. Today we are talking about the snap lock, which I've seen from a couple comments that some people wanted me to get to, so I'm glad that I'm able to do it for you. Let's get right into it. R3S Pearl. Basically, third generation of the reactor cover stock. You would know the RS2 Pearl from the Marvel Pearl, the High Road. And as they develop these new generations of this cover stock, it, to me, basically, it just means that they're making them stronger because as time goes on, oils are becoming more viscous and thicker and cover stocks are becoming stronger to make up for it. And it's kind of an arms race. So that's really what that means to me when I see that. Uh, Rad-X core, also a pretty new core. You'll remember that from the original lock. RG's 247.55. We may or may not get into that. We'll take a look-see. This is mine here. Four and a half inch pin. Extra hold down. I don't have it with me where I'm making the video, so I don't have the angle measurement, but it's... It's pretty large. You can see the mass bias there right next to the thumb. Uh, I wish I had taken the uh, measurements before I came to do these, but I totally forgot, so I apologize. Uh, same pattern as the last video, 38-foot sport pattern. This was my first shots on the pattern. I did this ball first, so we'll take a look. See, but uh, like last time, there's a lot of friction out there for what... Uh, what you'd expect for sure so let's take a look at some shots and see how she looks what I've noticed right away is the quickness of the snap lock but it's not just one thing to say that it's quick because for the longest time storm has been great about making quick response balls this is something a little bit different though than a lot of the quicker stuff that we have and I'm gonna kind of meld that in with what I use to compare it to as you can see here with me throwing some shots when it sees the friction it likes to make that quick move but it has more of a of a stopping motion once it makes that that quick move and though some people hear that and they think that's bad I don't necessarily think that's bad I think it's actually very usable in a lot of different environments What's most important is that it's different from a lot of the other quick response balls. And being different is a good thing, as we've talked about before, because it's just about having more options. So as you can see here, the ball that I compared it to was the Crux Pearl. And the reason that I did the Crux Pearl again in the second video is because the Crux Pearl was a ball that I use all the time. All, all the time. And it's also probably the closest thing that we have right now to this snap lock and what you'll see from the crux pearl is they're both about the same strength um i would say that they're medium high friction factor and more toward the medium and the reason that i wanted to say medium high is because they're very very strong for pearl balls you'll notice the crux pearl here though is a lot smoother off the spot than that snap lock when it sees the friction it's a little smoother making that turn this is important because we have similar balls as far as their the amount of friction that they create on the lane. They're both relatively quick, medium quick balls. But how they respond to friction is just different enough that you have two separate options. And when what you're bowling on, the surface and or the pattern, kind of calls for one shape or the other, you have that option. I know a lot of people that drill this that love it. And I think that this is more of a deflection thing. I think that some people are going to really like the Crux Pearl more, and some are going to really like the Snap Lock more. And that's really a little bit more of how they match up to the deflection characteristics that you look for as a bowler. And we can kind of go off on a tangent. I don't really want to go there about deflection characteristics. But the thing is, we all have kind of our hit, the hit that we look for and certain ball motions match up to that hit that we like to see you know one of the things that we talk about with bull U is we start at the pins and we talk about how pins deflect and we talk about being able to use your eyes to see what sort of hits you need to strike in a certain building and i think that 
having these two balls that are very similar from a strength standpoint and a response time standpoint but have just a little different shape off of that friction is going to be important because you have two different options based on what you need to see from a deflection standpoint. I'm all about options. You, you should know that by now. I'm all about filling gaps, having different looks, so that I, I never feel like I'm missing what I need when I'm out there competing. And that's kind of why I like this snap lock in our arsenal. Some would say that it's stronger than the Crux Pearl, and maybe it is just a little. I think that they're really close, and that's also because I only have one of each. So I haven't drilled enough to know that maybe it's just that I have two similar ones myself. But they're just different enough that I think that's a good thing. I certainly think it's usable. I certainly think that it has a place later on in blocks when we have some oil down the lane, probably when you need to have more open angles. The Crux Pearl as well, for me, the strength of them require me to use more open angles than I do with some of our other quicker response balls that are weaker. And so if the pattern calls for or allows me to use more open angles, this snap lock will definitely fit into that hole too. Hopefully that's not too convoluted and confusing because of the similarities of the two balls. When I see them going on the lane, I see them very distinctly different. I haven't thrown this snap lock enough to really have a good handle on exactly when I would use that versus my Crux Pearl. But I certainly know that it's an option for me for when the pattern calls for more open angles and something that's quicker. So, let's kind of recap it all together. I know I kind of went... Uh, on a tangent on a rabbit hole there, but I really wanted to try to be as precise as possible when I'm talking about it. Medium high friction, and the reason that I wanted to put medium high is because it's definitely higher friction for a pearlized ball. Probably closer to the medium if you compare it to all the balls, but it's also pretty high for a pearlized ball. Response time, medium quick. Probably closer to the quick end of that scale. But it's smooth enough, it's controllable enough that I wanted to put medium quick in there. So, as usual, hopefully I didn't confuse you. <laughs> hopefully I didn't sound like I didn't even know what I was talking about and I was uh, kind of rolling down the hill. But I've had some good comments lately, some good suggestions. I hope you guys like the new camera angle. As always, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Subscribe to the channel, leave me comments, let me know what you like, what you don't like, what to do better, and hopefully as we keep going, I can keep improving. Tomorrow, we have our first Roto Grip review, and that is going to be for the Wreck-It, coming out on the 31st of August. Hopefully you guys enjoy that too, and let me know. Thanks.